Aya, this is Druid Cat. Welcome to my course. We're going to create a quality, versatile AI influencer that's much better than one image trained models. Our creation will stand out with hyper realism and adaptability, making it perfect for social media content or even monetization later down the road. The best part, you won't even need a powerful GPU. Fire up your potato PC and we'll use the Flux open source model paired with ComfyUI on cloud service RunPod to achieve professional level results. This course is broken down into parts to give you maximum value and practical knowledge. By the end, you'll know exactly how to build a standout AI influencer that combines reality, quality with versatility. This course requires access to my Patreon materials, so I encourage you to support the channel to get the most value from this content. Let's return to today's topic. Step 1. In the first video, we'll focus on creating a consistent database for our influencer. Head over to runpod.io and sign up for an account if you haven't already. First things first, deposit $10 into your account. Don't go overboard. If you forget to shut things down, that extra cash will vanish into the pod void. Click on Deploy Pods. Then choose Community Cloud. Pick the RTX A6000 GPU to handle the heavy lifting because we're diving into some serious compute power tasks. You can also deploy my template on a cheaper RTX 4090. The speed difference will be very minimal. Next, load the template and chill for 10 to 15 minutes while everything sets itself up. This template includes workflows, models, LoRa's and bonus components, all preloaded if you're a Patreon supporter. Link in the description. Fun fact, did you know that black cats aren't unlucky? They're actually pros at debugging AI code at 3 a.m. My custom template gives you pre-built workflows for Comfy UI, including outpainting, in-painting, single-face to full character image generation, and even vlogging workflows. It's got everything you need for influencer creation and flux magic. Installing it is dead simple one click. Once your pod is live, hit connect. Two ports will open, 3020, Jupyter Notebook and 8888, Comfy UI. Jupyter Notebook is basically your file system and mini OS, all browser-based. Step two. We are going to open Comfy UI from port 3020. Hop into the workflow section, that open folder icon, and select the text to image turbo workflow. Why turbo? Because we like speed, baby. The Turbo workflow is pre-configured for generating hyper-realistic influencer faces. You'll see a few groups like Load LoRa's and VAE. These LoRa's are hand-picked by yours truly to ensure top-notch detail and realism. Step 3. Here's the deal with LoRa's. They're like expansion packs for big models like Flux. LoRa's can improve generation quality or help you create consistent characters. We're starting with faces because they're the MVPs of influencer creation. Once you've got the perfect face, it's easier to build a data set for more advanced workflows later. Experiment with the LoRa's provided, tweak strengths, and try out trigger words for added effects. Example. Use the iPhone photo LoRa to mimic iPhone photography vibes. Don't forget the trigger word, iPhone photo. We also need ECU as trigger word for eyes, LoRa. Step 4. Basically, everything is ready in my workflow. We're heading to the prompt node. Get creative with your prompts. Whether you borrow my examples or craft your own, the fun lies in making each face uniquely yours. Pro tip. Ask ChatGPT to help brainstorm your dream influencer's look. Once satisfied, generate a batch of 30 to 50 to queue to explore your options. Because we need to pray to the God of Random for our dream influencer. When we're done, we can click on the library icon, which is at the top of the screen, to the left of the manager, and to the left of the floppy disk. 
and when we click on these books, it will open such a browser with images that we just created. And here we can browse our faces quickly and decide on one that will represent our influencer. The faces look impressive, realistic, and are exactly as I wrote in the prompts. Pick your favorite face, save on your local computer. Now, we click on the open folder icon on the left side. That is our workflows again. We click on character sheet for consistent character training workflow. This tool auto-generates various poses and expressions for your influencer, expanding our dataset. Step five. This workflow inspired by Mick Mumpets, but my version is already cloud optimized, installed for effortless use. We'll utilize this workflow because it automatically generates various poses and facial expressions, emotes, for our AI influencer, significantly expanding our training database. This comprehensive dataset will result in a higher quality LoRa model with greater versatility, enabling us to create a wider range of diverse photos later. While our workflow appears complex with many components, there's no need for concern. We'll focus on just a few essential nodes, walking through them step by step. The default settings are appropriate for most cases. In the next node, we'll input our influencer's name. In this example, we're using Lyra. Next, we'll configure the Use Input Image option. Set the first checkbox to Yes and the second to No. Then simply drag and drop your chosen influencer's reference photo into the designated area. Then upload her face using drag and drop in the appropriate node. After uploading the image, you may want to zoom out for a better overview of the workflow. Moving on to the prompts section, you'll find two types, style quality prompts and pose prompts. The default pose prompts work well, so we can leave those unchanged. Customize prompts for style, quality and poses. The realistic style settings are generally sufficient, but I strongly recommend customizing the character prompt. This is where you can be creative. Describe your character's body structure and any specific features you want to emphasize. This is the space for your vision. Next, we'll look at the LoRa section. By default, it includes the iPhone Photo LoRa. Remember to include iPhone Photo in your prompt as a trigger word. You have the flexibility to enable, disable, or switch to different LoRa's based on your needs. To toggle a LoRa, Right-click and select Bypass. Clicking it again will reverse the action. Now, everything is set up and ready for generation. Let's adjust the batch count. While we previously generated 30 images, we'll start with just one to test our settings. Once everything looks correct, simply click the Q button, play icon, to begin generating your first character sheet. This workflow takes longer to process because it includes automatic upscaling and image segmentation. That's why we're using the RTXA 6000 GPU. It significantly reduces processing time. Feel free to take a short break while it generates. The first output will be your complete character sheet. If you're not satisfied with the results, you can immediately stop the process by clicking X and try again as the output has some randomness to it. When you see a character sheet, you like let it complete the full generation process, including the division into individual images. You'll notice that while the initial faces may have some quality issues, the upscaling process significantly improves them. The final results will have crisp details and proper facial features. Don't worry if some images aren't perfect. We only need a selection of good ones in various poses and angles to create a robust LoRa model. You can import these individual images into Photoshop or any other image editing software to add them to your dataset. While most expressions will work well, I recommend avoiding the tilted forehead pose as it tends to produce less desirable results. We will skip all bad results. We don't need all images, only few, the best ones. Step six. Now let's move on to the next crucial workflow, in-painting. Navigate to the workflows menu and select simple in-painting. 
we'll use this to fix any issues with our influencer's hands, which sometimes generate facing the wrong direction. In the prompt section, specify that we're focusing on hands, then drag and drop our image into the designated node on screen. Right-click and select Open in Mask Editor. This opens a window where we can paint over any areas that need correction. Our workflow comes preloaded with the Flux Fill model, currently the most advanced in-painting model available. It's incredibly efficient. Just click and it is done. At this stage, we need to diversify our dataset. While our current approach would work great for creating a consistent character, perfect for cartoons or comics where the character maintains the same appearance. We're aiming for something more dynamic. We want our influencer to feel more Instagram ready. Step seven. Moving on, let's open the workflows icon again and select prompt with your own face. This workflow is beautifully simple. Just paste in the face, add your prompt, and watch it create a complete influencer image. You can enhance the results by adding various LORAs through specific nodes. The top node is where we paste our reference face. This same workflow can be used to generate images of yourself or friends, with permission, of course. We don't want any awkward, why am I an AI model now? Conversations at dinner. Remember, all these workflows are available for my Patreon supporters. The process is straightforward. Enter your prompt, paste the photo, and adjust the LoRa settings. I've pre-configured everything for optimal results. On the left, you'll find nodes controlling the LoRa parameters. Here, you can select which LoRas to use and adjust their strength. Don't be afraid to experiment. Even if something looks off at first, the flexibility of the system allows for endless possibilities. Let's expand our dataset with more variety. Start with our basic photo and create variations with different outfits and situations. An important addition I haven't demonstrated yet is changing the hairstyle. Since the current version will consistently generate the same hairstyle, try adding straight hair or a ponytail variation. Simply paint over the existing hair and specify the new hairstyle in your prompt. This is where your creativity comes into play. As we collect our photos, I've included variations with dresses and workout clothes. This variety is crucial for training the LoRa model because we're establishing what should remain constant at the influencer's face and what can vary clothing, poses, hair. We don't want the model to fixate on specific outfits, so create plenty of variations in different sizes and styles. Finally, gather all these diverse photos into one folder to prepare for LoRa training. Think of it as creating a digital wardrobe, but unlike my real closet, this one is actually organized. Step 8. Before we wrap up, let me share an essential step, downloading all the images we've created. This is crucial because once we disconnect from the pod, we'll lose access to all our generated content. Let me walk you through the process. First, navigate to where we opened Jupyter Notebook, specifically to the home slash workspace default folder. Locate and click the terminal icon. It appears as a black symbol. In the terminal, enter the command I've provided in the video description. You can simply copy and paste it. This command will automatically package all your generated images from today's session. Once the packaging is complete, select the file and click download. The files will be saved in .gz format, which can be easily extracted on any operating system. Now for the important part about managing your RunPod resources. To properly end your session on RunPod, you have two options. First stop pod, this preserves your data, but still incurs a small maintenance fee. Or second delete pod. This completely terminates the instance and removes all data, stopping all charges. A quick money-saving tip. Always delete your pod after finishing work. That concludes our tutorial for today. With your images safely downloaded and your pod properly terminated, you're ready to continue your AI influencer creation journey in our next session. Thank you for watching this course. 
If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me create even more valuable content for you. For those looking for extra resources and insider tricks, check out my Patreon, link in the description. I successfully run AI courses on Fiverr, reaching clients worldwide. My private courses offer even deeper insights into AI influencers, where we can explore topics that aren't suitable for YouTube. In the next video, we'll train AI influencer as Laura. So stay tuned. See you soon. Hey.